There are two ways to play Minecraft on the Quest 3. One is using a computer. This lovely dandy computer. Which is the optimal method. But there is a second method to playing Minecraft VR just directly... Ow, I was like scratching the lenses. Directly on the Quest 3 with no PC required. But let's do the more optimal way first, which is the PC method. Download the MetaQuest Link PC software. Go right here. I'll have all the links in the description, of course. And once you've downloaded that, you should get... This. This is like PC VR. It's like your meta quest, but on PC. And the benefit with having it on this software right here is that you actually have more games. You unlock a bigger library of games, such as Boneworks, for example, that is not on the quest. However, I will say that most of the like popular PC games or just, you know, VR games in general are on the quest anyways. But, however, the cool thing about having it on PC, like, let's take Rec Room, for example. I always record Rec Room on PC VR because on PC VR, you have, like, a third camera. So we're going to have this extra camera to do, like, vlogs with or it just makes the viewing experience much, much smoother. I'll show you guys difference on screen. That's the benefit of having a PC. But the only reason why we need this is just to connect the quest to the PC to then we had to download step number two, Steam VR. So you go here and you look up Steam VR. And boom, it should be this one right here. Steam VR is pretty much just like this thing that you guys just downloaded. However, in this case, obviously, it unlocks all the Steam VR games. And there's a lot more like Steam VR games, but again, the most popular ones are already on the Quest anyways like they have like the quest version but steam vr because it's on pc you just get that better quality and you have extra features we have to download a uh version of minecraft called vivecraft okay that's the second that's the third step vivecraft click on the link in the description but it should bring you to a page <laughs> excuse me it should bring you to a page like this and you click on download and you want to click on the latest version which in my case is vivecraft 1.0 19 but you're gonna be the future from when i'm recording this video so you might be like version 1.25 i don't know that'd be crazy if you guys are actually that far let me know in the comments if it goes that far and by the way uh, a side tip it might not work for you so if you're like scrolling through this video like wait it's not working maybe because you need to download java which you just click on the link right here so i'm gonna do this step with you guys so you're gonna you guys are gonna click on this then there's the non-vr and then the vr one obviously we want the vr one the non-vr one is just so people can be playing on PC with, you know, without a VR. But if you're playing multiplayer, they can see you with like your hands and it, it looks it looks cooler, it looks more fun. So now you guys open this up. See, see what I mean? Like if it doesn't open up, it should just automatically open up on that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, you guys should have a page just like this. You don't really want to touch this. And then you could install Vivecraft with Forge. I suggest keeping everything as default, except you do want to change the allocated RAM to half of whatever RAM that you have on your computer your computer i have 32 gigs of ram so i'm going to put eight wait no half of 32 is not eight it should be 16 but there's no 16 so i'll just do the highest one I but usually it's about half of what you have already and then it says please make sure that minecraft launcher is not running which in my case it is so you want to make sure that i close this before i press install install successfully so now now that install successfully that's all it took like it literally took that one second um you guys want to go on the minecraft launcher and there you go look at it it's right there Vivecraft 1.19.2. So now here is how we connect the VR to the computer so you guys can start playing right away. Very simple stuff. The best way to do it is through a cable, like this one right here. Very nice cable. It's a 16 foot long it's cable. It's nice and white, and I've been using it for quite a bit. I highly recommend this, especially because it's like, it's super cheap. The official Meta Link cable costs like, I think it's like 80 bucks. Bruh. This one, 30 bucks. It's actually <laughs> insane. And it does the same thing too. Oh, actually, actually, it's even better because it has this little box right here where if you connect that to another source, it charges it even faster. So we're going to be using this to connect our Quest 3 to our PC. So now hop on your Quest 3. So now you want to go on the quick settings, which you just tap by pressing that. And then you go in the Quest link. Then you select your PC and then click and then press launch and here we are guys this is like the meta home right but in vr so see how it's different like this is what pc users see so now what you guys want to do is on the meta pc link app whatever you guys want to click on steam vr which we just downloaded or you can just run steam vr on your computer same thing and see right now i'm in another environment and this is like the steam environment and now that i'm on my steam environment i can finally open vivecraft now there's two ways i can just like take off my headset and then go on the computer or actually i can just do it directly on the steam environment see if you press desktop 
Boom, look, I can control my whole desktop from here. Now it's gonna be a little trippy for you guys, at least right here. Whoa. Vivecraft 1.19 play. Oh, this is like the moment of truth, guys. If this doesn't work, just go back in the tutorial because this should work. And there we go. Look at that. Single player. I think this is for the myth video. Day. And right now I am playing Minecraft in VR. See how I'm like, I have my little hands and stuff. I got my health bar. And if I press A, I'm jumping. If I press like the grip buttons, it changes. So I can go back and forth. And then if I press the trigger button and start breaking blocks. If you start a new random world, it's not going to be like this, obviously. This is just something that I did on my PC. Now, the cool thing about VR is that you can actually change the whole button layout. You can change even the way this looks and everything. So you can do this by doing controller bindings, right? You go in controller bindings and... Where you can select out of all of these, but of course you want to keep it on Vivecraft. Choose another, and people have made bindings for Vivecraft that they think works best. This is my personal preference for Vivecraft. Um, I think this guy. Th oh, th that's what this guy named it. He he named it my personal preference for Vivecraft. But see how right now on the menu I have different options because I'm in VR. You can go to options, and then I can go to VR settings. You can just quickly access like drop. Select item, quick torch, rotate to the left, rotate to the right. I have this this camera thing, which I don't know. I don't think you have this in, in regular Minecraft. But now, wait a minute, guys. Let me show you guys how to do whatever I'm doing right now, but without a cable so you can play wirelessly. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, disconnect it. <laughs> okay, so if you guys want to do wirelessly, then it's just simply by clicking this like we did earlier. And instead of going on the PC, which obviously is not here because it's not connected, you want to enable AirLink and then click Launch. And boom, I'm right back in. That was instant. Because it connected to the Meta PC software which then connected to steam vr because you know we turned that on which then linked me back to minecraft instantly and if you guys want to turn off air link by the way you just click on the oculus button click on that air link and then you just do quit and then as you can see it'll bring you right back to your normal environment now there's another way to play vivecraft wirelessly through virtual desktop so you want to do is buy virtual desktop on the quest so now that you have it on the quest you also want to have a way to link it on of course you know your desktop so you have to download the pc version the streamer app that's what they call it so your pc and vr and then you know i have windows so i would click on this and it's going to look something like like that right and then it's actually pretty simple just go on virtual desktop on the quest and then it automatically links then if you want to play vivecraft just open up um steam vr first and then you want to open up minecraft just like how we did with airline but now i want to show you guys how to play directly on the quest 3 with no PC required at all. The first thing you guys wanna to do to play Minecraft VR directly on the Quest 3 is to enable developer mode on the MetaQuest app, which you guys should Actually, have. Actually, you're forced to have in order to set up your Quest 3, so you have no excuses. So you guys wanna go on the MetaQuest 3 and then go to headset settings. And then right here you see a bunch of different options, but we wanna enable developer mode, which I already have it on, but you guys just you know, toggle it on. Now, once you are done with that, you want to download this software called SideQuest. Yes, on your PC. But there is SideQuest for Quest users, like you don't need a PC. You guys can use the Quest or the PC, which is what I'm going to do. It's just, it's just easier on the PC, guys. Everything's just easier. Oh, yeah, look at that. I went on all apps, top, and SideQuest is the first one. That's just a sponsored one. Wait, I just want to give a disclaimer real quick because I went through that this whole tutorial thinking that was going to work, but it actually ended up not working. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. It crashed. That's because I didn't read this simple thing that it says literally right here on the QuestCraft page itself. It says, QuestCraft, no Quest 3. So wait a minute, though, because as of right now, as recording this, QuestCraft... QuestCraft? QuestCraft... <laughs> QuestCraft on the Quest 3, that's kind of hard to say, is not available. But maybe you're in the future right now, and just go ahead and take a look at this page, see if this written text right here that says no quest 3 is not there anymore because if it's not there that means that they have updated it quest craft currently does not work on quest 3 please join quest of discord for updates blah, blah, blah. so they're gonna update this soon but everything else that i did in this tutorial that you guys are about to watch is still legitimate and it still works exactly how it would on the quest 2 so if you guys want to know how to do this on the quest 2 it still works just follow the the same instructions that i give you guys except just on the quest 2 not on the quest 3 unless it's on the quest 3 so then it will work on the quest 3. so what we're going to do is do side load of course you guys have to have it connected so let's go and do the same thing by using you know this link cable which you guys can find in the description by the way and then we want to connect it to our quest 3 so that you guys can hear it if this is the first time you guys are doing this you want to hop on the quest 3 so that you can enable the 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 linkage i don't know like why you have to go and enable it but 
Then once you enable it directly on the Quest 3, this should be green. You only have to do this once. See, as you can tell, like when I connected it, it just did it automatically. So now it's connected. So now we just do side load. And just like that, it's done. And now let's hop on the Quest because everything is on the Quest now and you guys can start playing right away. But let me show you guys how to do this because there are a few more steps. Okay, so first you guys wanna to go to the apps, the you know, your library right here and see you have all the games. But you're not gonna find side quests right here. You're actually, because you use like external software, the quest might think that it's dangerous. So it actually put it under a different folder called unknown source. And see, I have like some other games right here uh, that I, I made a whole video about. Anyways, you guys wanna press on Questcraft, which is one we just downloaded. And hold on, don't end the video just yet. It's not done. There are some important things you guys wanna do. Allow permissions, yeah, allow everything that asks you, otherwise it might not Unless work. Unless it asks for like, I don't know, like your credit card info, it's, it's not gonna do it. But. What is wrong with my controller? So what you wanna do now is do sign in. Like it says right here, you have to go on Microsoft.com, that link, which I got you boys. Just click on the link in, but down below in the description. Once you do that, you wanna enter the code that gives you right here. Okay, then you press next. Oh, I have to enter my password. Let this app access your info. Um, yeah, guys, again, I think just accept everything. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing much you can do. So let's just do sign in. Oh, there we go. Now you guys want to press on play, but hold on because it's going to start downloading. So don't just, you just have to wait. Okay. Now that is every way to play Minecraft in VR, but hold on. There is actually not another way. There used to be other ways in the past. If you guys see past videos of showing other ways, there is no other way. I research every way. This is the only way. Unless you do like, unless you play a game like Discovery, it's a Minecraft knockoff, but it's it's not that good. Help me reach 100,000 subscribers, boys. I am so close to 100,000 subscribers. It's a lifetime goal of mine. Tomorrow's video is gonna be right here on screen. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, that means that you have to subscribe because daily uploads, boys. Let's go.